Hello everybody, I'm Ian Gibson. It's Tuesday night, it's 9 p.m. Eastern, and we're gonna be playing Brothers in Arma. We've got a fantastic mission. It's actually in space and in a completely different game. Um, we've got a special guest. We're gonna be playing Star Citizen. Uh, joining us as always for Brothers in Arma is Zach and Will, but Kyle, how's it going? It's going pretty good. I've got a slice of pizza next to me and I'm ready to play some Star Citizen, maybe if we can load into mm. it. Mm. So I, I was trying to think how long how long has this been a stream idea? I think it's been at least a year, if not more, that Zach has been a, driving it's, it. It's been a minute, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And, a you know, I think what really did it is that they're having a free-to-play period right now. I believe it ends tomorrow. And uh, as somebody who does not want to support this $330 million game, um, free <laughs> is the only way I'll play it. And I know Kyle's been playing it lately. I know Zach and Will... I've already purchased the game, but well, uh, Zach, what's your what's your play history? Uh, I'd say maybe ten hours since I bought the game in 2013. <clears throat> what Just does that you spread know, playing over? for a little bit. Well, that yeah, that's that's maybe two hours when big updates come around. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah. and and William Crispers. That's even less than that. Probably yeah. like four hours, because uh, Zach and I bought it around the same time. Got it. And Kyle, it's my understanding that you're relatively new to the game, right? Um, I So I bought a ship way back in like 2013-ish and just oh, couldn't okay. play it because my laptop at the time could not handle it, even though I had hoped it could. Um, but since then, I think like last year, like the end of last year, I sort of like was like, all right, well, I can play this now. I have a desktop and I have logged probably like 30 to 40 hours, maybe. Um with mm -hmm. a huge chunk of that being uh, bugs and trying to fix stuff and stuff yeah. not working and it not being fun. Yeah, that's understandable. Um, and I think for me, I forgot that I had tried a free weekend back in, uh, what was the date that we found in my email? Was it 2014 or 2015, Will? Because we looked it up the other day off stream. Yeah. Why well, did um, 26? I think it was maybe. But either way, it was years and years ago they had a free weekend. I played it for 30 minutes. Um, I played it for 30 minutes yesterday. I played it for 30 minutes today. And I really don't like this game. So, guys, you have about an hour's worth of stream to convince me that I'm wrong. <laughs> um, hey, Ian, guess what? I don't like this game either. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, but we're going to give it an honest shot here. Let me just turn my graphics down another smidge to low. Um, okay. So, so what are your... Mm -hmm. uh, I guess like, we can get in the game and everything, but I want to yeah. hear about your issues. I, I think at the end, I think at the end, because I want to give, I want to give this game a fair yeah. shot, and I want to give the viewers a fair shot at this game, because I think the key thing about this game is that it is crowdfunded since the beginning. They've raised three hundred thirty million dollars. They have made all sorts of promises, and whether or not they have actually delivered on that is questionable. And they still don't have a game out. What is it? Seven years later, you said twenty thirteen was when you first. That's, yeah, that's, I think so. So. Um, the game already has a storied history in and of itself. So mm -hmm. a lot of people want to know what it is, what it's actually like. Um, so I, I want to give the game that fair shot. So we're all in the game, right? Yeah, my elevator's not working. I have not even loaded into the game. I'm still stuck on the loading screen, which is the problem I was having three hours ago. Is that, <clears throat> is that you? Person that just come up on me, They're jumping at me. That's me. Hi. Oh, what's up, dude? Why is there no, why is there no like name tag? I don't know. Look at this guy uh, right here. The, eleva the elevator's not working, so there's that. Um, I, I earlier I had to like press the button three times, and then when it flashes, I think that means that it's coming just very slowly. So, um, you will probably only see name tags if you hit F two and look at the world map, and you'll really only see them uh, with members of your party. Hey, guys, guess what? Um, my world map doesn't work. Uh, zoom out. Uh, yeah, you have to zoom out. Yeah. Roll this, uh, the mouse roll back. Oh, my God. That's so stupid. Because I was doing that a lot earlier, and it was just like... That's, that's bad. Now it's working. Oh, this guy just said the elevator in Lord Diamond Unity, I think he's with us. Wait, so if I... Okay, wait. I see Wizard King now. That's me. I see Think Gibson. Wait, so because we went into the map, we see usernames now? 
Uh, because you have them in your party. But we didn't see usernames earlier. I think it loaded in that we're in a party now. Yeah. Okay. Just sure. keeping... Hit F1. Yeah, why am I hitting F1? Uh, to bring up the party management system. It's F1 is your Moby glass, so it's sort of. Moby. Yeah, but wh why am I bringing up the party management system? You don't know if you're in a party or not, right? No, I mean, we came into the game in a party, right? Uh, but I am not in it, and I was the guy hosting the party, so oh. it might not it might not be that you guys are in a party. Oh, that's a lot of bad words on this screen. Oh, yeah, no. I can see you guys. Are you 38 million miles uh, away? Yeah, no. Press F12 to make your uh, group chat go away. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank point. you. I'm going to do that real quick. Bop, there we go. If this okay. elevator wanted. Let's see. Okay, where is... I'm in a party with everybody. <gasps> elevator's open. Oh, no. Cut. I'm standing in. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. Ah! Oh, are you in here? Oh, I thought... Oh! Ground floor. Okay, yeah, I think we want to go to ground floor, right? Because we're probably going to take the subway over to... Yeah. Don't get on the wrong subway like I did yesterday. Dude, I just <laughs> followed somebody earlier today. Because it takes you to not the right place. Um, I just want to say, I will not be piloting my own ship. I want to be in somebody else's ship. <gasps> it's daytime. Oh, it's yeah, daytime. Yeah, we can... Um... <gasps> Zach, are you on this planet with us? Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm about a million kilometers away trying to get to you guys. Okay, you're going to pick us up? Yeah. Okay, okay, so we'll go to whatever hangar you um, um, Will, I just, I just need to say a hot take real quick. Yeah. This hub world <clears throat> is so much better than the tower in Destiny 1 and 2. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> as far as uh, trying to get somewhere, I would say no, but yeah. Uh, There's too I, many dead ends here. Well, I had to do a character reset. Which is literally the last option you want to do, because mm -hmm. it just destroys everything that you own. So hopefully, I'll be back in. Um, I just I think the Destiny one is is a lot of fluff, but none of it is that good. And for being such a small space, the pathing's kind of weird. Yeah, it's just like a bunch of NPCs in a circle. It's it's a bunch of NPCs in a fancy circle. Um, this one. I'm not crazy about this one, but this one at least has a lot of a lot of world building going on. And I'm not yeah. I'm not sure about the subway system. I feel like for people who like this game, the subway system is awesome. Yeah, it's but I'm pretty not cool. Crazy about I like it. It, it feels very like like this game. Yesterday I was getting frustrated with the subway system, mm -hmm. the way I would get frustrated in real life at a subway system. Yeah, and I was following the signs like I would in the real world. So so the, I feel like the environment. Yeah, this is a different subway. Uh, I didn't follow you. I was looking at the outside, but I thought we were waiting for the hangar. So we're just going to go to the spaceport well, and then wait for the hangar. We're going to go to the spaceport to get to the hangar, yeah. Okay, gotcha. I'm with our friend that we were stuck in the elevator with. I also like you can sit in the subway. It feels so cool. Okay. Heading to the spaceport line. There we go. That was wonky. Yeah, if you can find a, uh, uh, take the train to a gate, or like, I can't remember what it is, to like the outside of Lorville, and, and then I can come pick you up. You mean, oh. uh, spaceport? So not the spaceport, you do on not the want surface. to go. You, you can go out onto the surface on the outskirts of the city. Uh, well, do you like perimeter line? <clears throat> I'm coming back, Ian. Okay, but there's, yeah, two, one of them. there's two perimeter lines. Uh, either one will work by the time I get to you. Okay, let's go to gate one. And gate one. Copy that. Wait, let me go back to the... Okay. This reminds me a lot of uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I was thinking of replaying those two. That's a good game. That's a really good game. They're really good. There's that, like, bank heist side mission in 2 in Mankind. Oh. That's really fun. I I like that one because I did it before I picked up the mission. 
I just went to the bank for like four hours and just slowly unraveled that place. It was great. Train's not here yet, so you may you may be able to make it, Will. If the freaking doors would open. Do you notice the ele the ma the elevators are magic elevators? You guys notice that? Yeah, they go not just up and down. Yeah, they go wibbly wobbly. Buddy, I don't know if you're gonna make it. I really wish like someone was like, yeah, we don't we don't actually know how the elevators work. <laughs> You just kind of get you there. Well, I just I always like that. The thing I want to know is world. I want to know if it's intended or if it's accidental, you know, be, <laughs> yeah. because it's like it's game dev magic, you know, where they're like, you're not actually moving. We're just kind of rapid teleporting you in a way or whatever. Yeah. Or just like no clipping you through stuff. But I like I want, when like pretty sure it's just no clip. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm going to know if they're doing if they at least provided like I don't want to say a lore reason, but if they at least recognize that it's visible. Yeah. <laughs> and excuse it in the world, but, as opposed to just being like, don't look at the beacons. Just don't look at them. Are you guys on the thing? Oh, you guys are. Um, I can see you. Like when worlds in like books and stuff, they're like, yeah, we don't know how this thing works. It's just like, it's like the gates in Mass Effect. They're like, yeah, we're kind of just here. Yeah. We started using them. Like the Mass like, Effect I feel fandom. Like, like, like I don't understand how it works, but, but it exists. Yeah. I'm on a tear tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I really like that this Metro is working. That's awesome. That adds so much because I'm thinking about like Eve Online is a much bigger, fuller game, but it doesn't have anything like this. S somebody left the party. Will's the party leader. Oh. Oh, that's me. I'm a party boy. Hey, during this train ride, we should talk about Will. Who? I know, I know Will got a, an Xbox Series X. Uh, Kyle, did you did you pre-order one? I did not. I'm not pre-ordering any of the new consoles until at least like a version two. That's normally how I rock next yeah. gen stuff. I think I think for me, I love the One X so much, and the Series X is such a good deal to me that mm. I'm I'm willing to spend it. But I completely, if you don't have a need to upgrade, then there's there's really no need to. Yeah, I mean, I, like if Sony keeps pumping out some of their exclusives, even their older ones, onto PC, that'll keep me happy for a while, and I can play most Xbox stuff on Xbox Game Pass. So I don't feel like I'm missing out. Although I do love the design of the Xbox. Uh, mm -hmm. X Series X. Um, also, yeah. can we talk about? There was a tweet today from was it Jason Schreier where it was like the amount of sales for Xbox One X's like jumped up seven hundred thirty some percent. Yeah, and it was people people thinking they were buying the Series X and they. Well, got I the think I think the better the better theory is that it's people who had incorrect bots. And they were trying to buy oh, yeah. a Series X to scalp it, and they accidentally bought a bunch of One Xs. There's some uh, scalpers yeah, there's... posted their stuff on eBay, and he posted the order number, so someone went and canceled their order. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, but I will say the one thing, I think that logic makes sense, Kyle. I, I think the one hole in it, though, is that Game Pass first-party games are going to be on PC and console, but Game Pass mm -hmm. non-first-party games are not necessarily going to be on PC. So, for example, Witcher 3 was on Xbox Game Pass for a while, and as far as I know, it has never come to PC Game Pass. So there is yeah. there is still a little bit of a differentiation, but but I agree. If you don't have to upgrade... I, well, the only thing I would say is if you don't have an Xbox One, which I know you do, but if you don't have an Xbox One, you really should be getting at least a Series S and Game Pass because it's a phenomenal deal. Yeah. So um, I actually don't have a Series... Uh, or an, an Xbox One. I, I don't have any console except for a Switch. So it's just me and my PC and my Switch. Oh, well then I would highly recommend a Series S because it's, yeah, that's, it's cheap to get in there. I, I think, again, like I'm just going to wait. There's no need for me to jump because I'm yeah. mainly a PC gamer anyway. But when I do, like I would prefer to get both just so that I, I don't have to pick and choose. Um, yeah. But. My main need was... Um, Karen's been playing the Xbox a lot more and she's wanted to switch over to that from her PS4. 
So I was like, so I have a Siri, I have a Xbox One X, and so I was like, hey, if I'm gonna buy another Xbox, I'll just buy the Series X because it works out. Yeah. And yeah. then the other reason is I, for some reason, there's some part of me I don't know if it's nostalgia or anything, but I like just sitting on the couch and playing video games from a console. Um, like even like plugging my PC into the computer or into the TV doesn't work. I just want to boot up a console yeah. and play. I think I think the other thing about the Series S is um, if you have a 4K television, um, that Series S is the like one of the. It's basically the best 4K Blu-ray player you can buy on the market right now, because if you try and buy like a 4K Blu-ray player on its own, it's like 250 or 300 dollars. Mm -hmm. So if you oh, if you want to. Oh, that does look cool. So if you want to do like 4K Blu-rays, it's like you, you just just get an Xbox to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's where it's, did you uh, mm -hmm. end up getting your pre-order from? So I got it from GameStop, and Ooh, I, classic. I, I also paid GameStop online, and I also paid the thousand the eighteen dollars extra to have. They call it delivery on release day, which oh. is which is a nice option, um, because. A little behind the scenes, we're hoping to have a release day Xbox Series X stream, which requires us getting a console on release day. Um, I was sitting on the Microsoft order page where you like fill out the order details for like 25 minutes, but it never went through. Right. Um, and I, I think the big problem I had was, Zach, can you come closer? Uh, I keep getting the over <laughs> the autopilot override. Um, okay, I'll sprint. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. We can keep talking. Um so <laughs> you're two you're twenty three hundred meters away. <laughs> I know. I realize. I'm I'm trying to head to you guys. Okay. If you get lower, can you I think I might be able to, yeah. So um, um so yeah, so I had I think the problem I had was I was trying to get the all access just to save <laughs> that twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. And so I was watching the all access pages. But they were not they were not working the furthest i got was walmart and it like throws you to the all access sign up page and that was crashing so once once i knew that was happening like 10 minutes after 9 or 10 minutes after 11 a.m and i was able to see just the flat console in stock then i switched over to trying to get that yeah i um i was on best buy microsoft amazon amazon crashed immediately <laughs> microsoft yeah, amazon kept telling me Microsoft kept telling me I had it in my cart already, and when I went to my cart, it would say, we can't load this page. And then Best Buy just sat on coming soon. So, <laughs> Wario64, I saw four minutes ago, had tweeted about Target and Walmart. So I went to Target, hit pre-order, nothing. Kept hitting pre-order, nothing. Target, the stupid yeah. website that it is, when you hit pre-order, it just adds it to your cart without telling you. Well, no, so, it, so I was on Target as well. It does... Add it, it does have a pop-up because I saw the pop-up once. And then my problem with Target was I kept going I kept going to the cart and it would say your cart is empty. <laughs> so Oh. Yeah, so, so I, I, I can finally, get to Target. I brute force Target because it would get me all the way through and then it would say it can't it, there's nothing there. So I'd keep reloading the PayPal page. Wait, 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 make wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Zach, can you land? I'm I'm stuck in a loop of autopilot. It lets me go like five. Okay, hold on. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Because I this just need to know we are running towards you. But if you can't even get on the ground, then we need to turn back. It, it might be because uh, you're too close to the city center. Uh, you guys are pretty far. I can't imagine that they would still be restricted out there. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on entirely. Yeah, but he's 2,000 meters can from you, us and he can't land. Can you no, fly to... Can you I think I was, I was over, over a, a little tiny part of a city, yeah. of the city, so it was getting mad at me. Yeah, I see you guys. I have to get, I have to like go around. Okay, God. Um, sorry, Will. What were you saying? Uh, I was just saying. So I managed to. I kept reloading the PayPal page mm -hmm. to get it to redo it, and finally it was like, oh, you are buying a console, and so it popped through. I oh, got yeah. the confirmation email. But it's stuck on its shipping, and it says November 11th through the 16th it'll arrive to you. That's so your target. I think that's just placeholder for now, or placeholder. But mm -hmm. I was still 
throughout the day trying to get one for Best Buy so I can just be like, I'll go pick it up. Blah, blah, blah. Zach, are you All stuck? Right. No. Oh, you're landing. I see. Um, I think the funniest thing I hit, well, there's two funny things. The one thing I hit was Microsoft. So like I said, I was on the, I was on that page for about 20 minutes, just trying to get the order to complete. And at one point I put in my shipping address, which is in the U S and then I hit, okay. And I waited a minute and the page refreshed. And then it said, sorry, we cannot ship that product to that country. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> what? And then I like clicked on the address and i unclicked it and like a two minutes later it was like okay you can move on now <laughs> i still That's never got microsoft to complete the order but i was sitting on that order details page for 25 minutes just slowly inputting information um yeah and then and then so i got mine through target Yay. and hopefully we'll get it on launch day and be able to do a stream the other crazy thing um so gamestop oh, wait, you got your target oh no you got it through gamestop yeah yeah the other thing about GameStop was they implemented a queue system where you would load the page and it would basically say, you know, hey, you're in a queue. It was kind of a placeholder for the whole website. Um, but the crazy thing was people... How do I put this? They said... Um, yeah. Um, so basically the GameStop page was like, you're in a queue don't refresh this page otherwise you'll lose your place we'll let you in when it's ready to make your order and so i left it on that page and then after a while it would kick you into the website but it was kind of weird because the queue was working like from from like 10 55 through like 11 30 the queue was going in and out so sometimes you would get the website sometimes you would get the queue page and then somebody later pulled it up pulled up the page source on Twitter and the page source was literally just a little bit of code that refreshes the page every 30 seconds. <laughs> so it wasn't a queue at all. <laughs> it was just don't refresh the website. And really it was just refreshing it in the background every 30 seconds. Um, this is fancy schmancy. Let me turn on my things. I'm in the turret. Uh, are you in the saber? We're in a cutlass. Cutlass, okay. Pew pew pew. Zach, yeah. how much was this? Uh, this I didn't buy it, so it would be a hundred dollars. Yeah, free ships right now, boy. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. That's only during this period, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> how do I? Zach, not that I really desperately need to, but how do I take control as co-pilot? Uh, I don't think... I don't know if you can. I don't think you can. It's more just like a support role or a gunner role. Oh, really? Because I have like a full yoke and everything. Yeah, yeah, I think at some point you'll be able to. How do I shoot? Uh, I have to leave the armistice zone. Yeah, yeah leave the armistice Are we going to... Are we... Or Kyle, you're coming in a separate ship? Uh, if I can get into the game, I would love to. I'm still I'm still having trouble. I had to reset my character. That's fine. We got we got other stuff to talk about. Like I keep harping on Game Pass is a fantastic deal. Two big pieces of news. Number one is EA Play is joining. We've talked about that previously. Um, the other big news is Microsoft flat out bought for seven point five billion dollars ZeniMax Media, which includes studios such as Bethesda, id, Arcane, ZeniMax Online, and a whole bunch of others crazy crazy news i for one did not see this coming because zenimax media has been positioning themselves as a big boy publisher lately and i really didn't see them being gobbled up what's what's your guys reaction to the news crazy, crazy. absolutely crazy it is crazy um i think it makes sense for microsoft being as yep. you know that just means more you know first party exclusives for them but also that built-in fan base for all things bethesda i mean as much as Bethesda the studio has had you know its issues Bethesda the publisher is doing pretty good so it kind of makes sense from a business perspective yeah um, and I think you know they've been looking for their own exclusive studios and rather than kind of build them up over time as Sony has done you know Microsoft's just been buying them with cold hard cash I, I did look it up 7.5 billion dollars is the second largest game studio purchase in history can you guys guess what the first largest was? 
Atari. Apple no. buying something? No. Um, is it... I'll give you a hint. It was like four or five years ago, I believe. Is it something EA bought? No, it is. Or was it Disney buying, I don't know, something? No, it was not Disney. Not Disney. <laughs> it was Tencent buying Supercell, who makes Clash oh, Royale. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, Should have guessed that it was Tencent, but I never would have known that developer. It's crazy Supercell. that Sorry, Disney bought that. Star Wars for $4 billion. Yeah. Should we join him, guys? Yeah. No, 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 don't. No, don't, uh, oh, don't. don't. Yeah, ignore that. I'm trying to jump into your server, and I accidentally hit the invite to party button. How dare you. I'm exiting the turret. So these space stations are new to me. That's I was going to say, they've actually been around for a bit, I think. Yeah. But they're all exactly the same. <laughs> like, Oh, are they? Pretty much everything. There's like one, I think, one or two different designs uh, on the interior, and they're just all the, exactly the same. How do I Ooh. use my pistol? Do you have a pistol? Yeah, it's strapped to my butt or my leg. Uh, it says Pull. there's 4950 people in your server and it's not letting me join. Pull it out of your butt. There oh, I just okay. kept clicking it. I'm coming in. I hope. Yeah. None of okay, can I just ask a question real quick? This is a little bit sneaky. Yeah. But I'm not, I didn't miss the tutorial, right? There just isn't one. Correct. Yep. Oh God. <laughs> this game's not done. Yeah. No, I that's... think there used to be. I think there used to be a tutorial. Oh, oh. Zach, careful, I opened all the doors back here. You <laughs> did. Oh, oh, oh my god. I don't, I don't, I don't that's even... a good view. Okay. I'm coming back, baby, bye. Me too. Yeah, well, wow, that, can I? <laughs> do, will it? Will it work? Yeah. You can just jump out of here. Okay. Wait. Wait. Uh, wait. You can. Going? You can do it. Can uh, Can you move around in space enough to get back yeah. into the ship? You, okay. You can, you can EVA. Oh, totally. Yeah. It's All just right. gonna slam you into the ground when you try to re-enter. Close the doors like, immediately. All right, Zach. 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 Can you Can you bring the ship to a full halt? I want to do an EVA. I, uh, I believe you're stopped. Bye. Oh, wow. I'm going to stay on the ship, <laughs> just in case. That was no. a good idea. Q and E should give you roll. Ian, I could try to shoot you with the turret. If we weren't uh, can there. you... Uh, Kyle, how do I... What's the keyboard to change views? Oh. I have four. Well, no, I was like, don't take the ship away. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's so stupid that you just... <laughs> Slam into the ground. Oh, this is good. <laughs> this is the fun part. <laughs> Are you guys back on? Yeah. I'm back on, yeah. That was dope. Uh, so what are we doing? Are we gonna do a mission or something? Hey, I'm in the game. All right, where, where are, you? are you? I'm on Hurston. <laughs> All right, we're up at Everston. Right, Everston. I'm, gonna, Everston. I'm gonna grab my ship and I'll okay. get Everest Harbor. Why do these monitors look like Minecraft? Uh oh. Ian found the gun. Yeah. Shoot them. Right. Destroy the space station. I'm gonna close the exteriors. Yeah, I'm gonna blow it up. <laughs> I'm gonna blow it up. It blowed up, boys. Real good. I'm excited for the Series X. Now I just need to buy a freaking 3080 if I can find one. <laughs> Good luck. That was, you know, the Xbox pre-order honestly wasn't that bad. It was kind of a normal pre-order situation where it's like there's 30 minutes where you're messing with bad websites trying to get an order. The yeah. 30 the 30 order pre-order was like literally gone in about 5-10 seconds from everywhere. So <laughs> that was much worse. <coughs> I can't do anything as a co-pilot. I know, right? Isn't that weird? I thought there'd be like gunner controls or something. 
Oh, I can hail. I hailed Everest Harbor. Hail! I signed this landing bay. Okay. Zach, go there. Sorry. I'm comms officer now. I was already, uh, I had already hailed and was heading towards. <laughs> hey, I'm comms officer now. Sorry, I forgot, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Suppress overall IR. I don't know what that means, but I did it. Let's hail Ian. What's something fun we can do? Um, in this game. Sorry, just to limit it. <laughs> uh, could we do one of the uh, uh, take over uh, enemy base? Yeah, let's do that. Oops. Ian, yeah, I wonder if you drop. Oh, never mind. So what? Here. Can you guys invite me to your party, whoever the party leader is? I think it's well. That's F1, right? Yeah, and then just, uh. Yeah. Friend. Uh, Com link all the way to the bottom left. And then, uh. If you go to friends, you can scroll through. Yeah, I have Should you, be. but I can't do anything. You can't. Really? I can click the little weird button. No, don't do that. Just right click my name. Oh, now it's. Oh, maybe because I was in a conversation. That's why. Okay, invite Great. You. Oh, we landed. Yep. Hello. We're going to go in and get some guns. Let's kill everyone. Does Everest Harbor have weapons? Um, I think they only have a couple. I always go to Port Alisar. Yeah. Because that's. They have like an actual gun store there, and it's not mm -hmm. too far from Hurston. I can meet you there if you want. Well, maybe we might jump in the Connie with you. Yeah. If right. you want to come up to Everest. Yep. Harbor. I'll be there. Oh, in, like, I should get out. Minutes. Is there yeah, a faster way to travel? Up. Because earlier I was doing like normal travel and then quantum travel, and both of them seemed very slow. It depends on the propulsion that your ship has. So if you have like a big ship and you've upgraded the engine, you can go like 56 million kilometers in like five minutes. Um, okay. But if you don't, it, it sucks. Gotcha. Because I think I was just in like a generic starter ship. Oh, I should have set up VoIP. <laughs> oh, I love the it's so or bad the proximity voice. It's terrible. <gasps> Did you guys yeah. see when I launched the game it asked it said we see you have a camera. Do you want to turn on FOIP? Which I yeah, assume that's is what I the, that's what yep. I wanted to. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy it, and it doesn't helmet? work correctly, but No, no, no. It your character model actually like talks. Oh, that's disturbing. It just doesn't work that well. <laughs> Does it work with if you're streaming on a webcam already? I, that I don't know. You might need a separate source. Yeah. Zach, how do I make this man give me a weapon? You say please. Hello, please give me a weapon. I'm following you. I assume you know where you're going. No, I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, I'm there's like moon lander. All right, I'm heading to the spaceport now, so I'll be there okay. in a little bit. Okay, we're, we're here with you. Oh, I found administration. I'm gonna I'm gonna file a complaint. Thank you. Hi, lady. Hello, Easy Hab, is a thing I have found. <clears throat> Hi. Just trying to find some weapons. I guess now we're going to Alasar, so let's uh, let's go find where we're Ian. Ian's somehow 1,500 meters away from us. I'm gonna <laughs> Did you take an elevator? Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm like, I'm only like 500 meters away from you guys. Oh, now you are. Are you in an elevator right now? Yeah, I'm in a very Wait. fast elevator. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Ian, you're in a ship? No, I'm in an elevator. Ian? Yeah. I don't think you're in an elevator. <laughs> we talked about this earlier. The elevators go anywhere you want them to. <laughs> oh, no. Including outside the... Why does, it, why does the ship near Ian at the same time? Because oh, the no. elevator's inside the ship, dingus. I forgot that's how that worked. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess the space station is just a giant ship. Yes. That doesn't. Piece move. of ship. Hey, PG-13. I said ship. 
Oh, I thought you said shit. <laughs> Why are the guns? Oh, Ian, you should do a flyby of this window. Oh yeah, you should do a flyby of this window. Whoa, I'm gonna fly by that window. Even though he's is... such a cool dude voice. <laughs> dude. Whoa, there he is. Oh yeah. Fly by, more of a slow turn and a lowering, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Hi. And if you explode, you'll probably end up somewhere else. I want to see you, boys. Hi, boys. See me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, <laughs> boys. Did you Hi. just bump the station? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh, roll over. He wants belly rubs. <laughs> Rub my belly. Robert! Robert! Oh, this got gross. He started moaning. <laughs> Don't open your doors. I'm surprised how easy it is to fly these ships, especially with mouse and keyboard. It's pretty great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah very nice. Like, I plugged yeah, in my I'm joystick for about three minutes and then I unplugged it. Okay, well, I just fell through the floor. And uh, I lived. Amazingly. I gotta kill myself. Yeah, it happens to me a lot. It's a freaking elevator, man. Wee. So did you stay on the ship, Ian, and then take it off? Well, like, I didn't realize you guys were going in. So then I got out of the ship, and then I turned around, and I was like, you know, the ship's empty right now. <laughs> <laughs> they can do whatever you want. Hi, cat. Yeah, sorry. My cat has decided that. Um, Zach, are you, you're in the station? Did you yeah, check and see if there was uh, a weapons thing? I couldn't find one anywhere. Okay. I'm on the pad again. Do they have... They may have, like, armor. Like, you I can get some is, armor. Yeah, or... there's a little bit. Oh, I can get a new ship here. I can get a con. Yeah, or our, get the hammerhead, dude. That thing oh, is yeah. huge. Yeah, baby. It's, like, a mile long. What is it? the hammerhead maybe, maybe yeah, we should all get ship. our own maybe we should all get our own shot our own ships what do you guys think go for it is that yeah. i'm coming back down you can if you land you can go in take the elevator to the lobby of that space station and there's computers there where you can order your ships uh but ian doesn't have the he didn't type in the code before all this uh, i did. think i have access to him anyways because i was spawning some earlier oh Will, you could spawn one, and Ian could just take it, and then you could spawn another one. Is this you, Kyle? Are you in a ship? No, I'm. I uh, had to kill myself because I fell through the floor. I have this ship. Classic. There's a ship in front of me, and it has a blue icon. Oh, that's a that's a Carrick. It's not me. That's a, a really really big ship. But why is it highlighted? Oh, is the luxury ship? Luxury. Wow, I can't talk today. The one with the swimming pool and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if that's a flyable ship. 890? Yeah, I think it was the 890. Yeah, I'm going to retrieve one right now. Oh, man. That would be D O P E. Oh, yeah, the 890 jump or whatever. Oh, uh, I can't because there's size limitations on these pads. Oh, jeez. Man, I really want to try that ship. Oh, you're just going to. We'll, we'll, go to we'll go to Alasar. Or something, and then we'll uh. Oh, this guy just parked this Cooper right here. Yeah, he's got an actual hangar. I'm gonna sneak inside his hangar. Just be, be careful not to touch him. I've already touched him several times. For, for pad ramming. Oh, yeah, then he'll be shot. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hammerhead is incredible. It's huge. Oh, thank you. Yes, that was fun. Did you just break the game? What do you mean break the game? It just kicked me out of the ship, threw me into yeah. the station. Oh, so... because I jumped to my own ship. Oh, that's probably why. Oh no, but it, it also did impound the ship I was in. Yeah. So Zach's gonna have to wait 20 minutes before you can get it, or pay a fine. It's well, oh, you know no. what? I'll just say it's a great thing that this game sucks because you just don't wait any time at all to stop playing it. Wait, <laughs> what? Why did you? No. It brought um, me to the wrong. What's what's a good ship? 
Uh, what do I want? We're doing we're doing fights, right? We're doing a fight. I well, we <laughs> I can get a Carrick, and you can all get on turrets or, or whatever. Because I don't think I can. Well, we were gonna go to Olasar and buy weapons, right? Oh, you mean like a person-to-person oh. -person fight? Yeah. Go yeah, ahead. we can do that. Okay, so I'm getting a I'm getting a combat ship then. Boop. Yeah, nice. get whatever you want, baby boy. Why did they choose right and left bracket? I don't know. I I got a constellation because I don't think I was supposed to have it because it kept showing up in the menu and then not showing up. So <laughs> let's see what this is. I, I'm going in the hammerhead. Oh, this is huge. The Where's hammerhead Pat? is massive. Where's pad two? It's got to take an elevator. How do I get inside the hammerhead? Oh, uh, there's an elevator in the back. How do I open said elevator? Uh, I don't know why I went <laughs> southern. You don't have to be near it? Yeah. Oh. Or is this the front of the ship? Uh, I don't know. Oh, an engineer? I don't know how we got an on laggy server. That's my friend Jimmy. Oh, I hate oh, that nice. guy. Hey, Jimmy. Will hates you. As opposed to Ian's friend Jimmy. Oh wow, that's a, that's a fancy, like, crab-looking ship, this Constellation Andromeda. Thank you. I'm talking to my ship, not to you. Man, there's a lot of text on that screen that translates to go up. I feel like they're not telling me the whole story. This is the most... I feel like I'm. I just got into a space horror ship. Space what ship? Horror ship. Oh come! The hammerhead I think is designed to kind of look like the Nostromo on the inside. I think it's the hammerhead. I freaking fell through the ship. The reclaimer definitely looks like the Nostromo. Maybe, maybe it's the reclaimer. Yeah, but that's slightly Serenity too, right? Damn, this is got a yeah, that is a tiny little ship. I'm not tiny. Mm -hmm. You're tiny. So, where's your yeah, big ship? You can go in through the cargo bay, Ian, or you can go up to the front and there's an elevator that comes down. I hate this game. This ship is creepy. I don't know why people pay money for this. I think it, they're paying the promise. the promise of possibly yes. having something cool. This seven-year promise. Okay, how do I... The game does look good. I'll give it that. It's got a lot of good design, a lot of good graphics. He likes it, guys. I did it, boys. Wait, is this, this? Where's the? How do I fly the hammerhead? Gotta go this... to the bridge, well. But this. Oh, I opened the back. Cargo. Is that the bridge there? Oh, the bridge is like down. You yeah. guys, you guys played any of the uh, the shooting element of this? I played like a minute of it. I played a uh, little bit. Of it. Yeah, I've done pretty much everything except for interstellar mining. Interstellar mining. It's safer than you think. <laughs> Ooh, spinning. Oh, you chairs. got it in it, Ian. Hi. Let me power it on. Somehow. 
I've fallen out of my ship twice now. <laughs> Once glitching, twice by through a cargo door. Somehow my engines are on now, which is frightening. Man, they they need to. I appreciate them having you like look at stuff and click it, but they really need to steal from Microsoft Flight Simulator. And how they do all the buttons and toggles in the cockpit. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Uh, like the Hammerhead's gotten better at that. So the Constellation is one of the kind of the first bigger ships. Mm -hmm. and it needs a it needs a update real bad. Yeah. Like here on the hammerhead, when it actually goes to like turn things on, it's definitely you're looking at buttons to turn them on. Yeah, here you're just. If kinda... you want to, if you want to easily turn on a ship, just hit U and then I. You'll turn on the weapons and the shields and then the engines. How you doing, Will? Uh, I you know every time I think I find the right thing, it's just another elevator to the ground. Did you not follow the sign for the bridge? Is there a sign? For oh, look, bridge. <laughs> yeah. I looked at the floor. Wait, Wait how do I get? At? Do I fall? Just oh, jump yeah. down. You can take the elevator, but it's easier to jump. Oh, Let's go. go look at oh, him and laugh. Yeah, I'm good. Space you is said, lifted off. You said you and I. Yep. Man, Zach, I want to get one of these when this game comes out. Uh, this is seven hundred dollars. Is it really seven hundred dollars? Yes. I no, it's fake seven hundred dollars. What well, do you guys? No, you your go-to number is seven hundred dollars. You're in the hammerhead. Yeah. yeah. Who's this guy? Ian's yeah, nice. ship is really small compared to ours. And then... So press space bar to lift off. Ow. 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 Yeah, <laughs> watch for traffic. Ow. 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 How are you messing this up so badly, Will? <laughs> I, it, my ship just doesn't go forward. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a wall back there that you forgot to hit. Because you hit all hey, the others. What if you were a nice person? Now let's not change the <laughs> dynamic now. <laughs> oh, this is hard to fly. It's just it immediately is just constantly rotating me. It's great. Okay, so where are we going? I'm in a ship, uh, so we can go to Port Alisar if you want. Okay, so let me. <laughs> ship makes really cool noise. <laughs> well. Okay, where is Port Alasar on the map? I hit B. And Straight near Daymar. Um, big red planet. Uh, in the solar system or, or no? Crusade. No. Yeah, in the solar system. It, or, sorry, in the galaxy map. It's Crusader. Just double click on the big red planet and Port Alasar is right next to it. What was that? F2? Got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then I zoom out. Where do I zoom out to? Dame man. Just zoom it all the way oh, out, and then Crusader's on the other side of the solar system. Awesome. Okay. Port hold. Is that rude? And then I, then what do I do? I back back out. Yep. And hit. Yeah, well, where is it? Why is it not popping up? For me? Yeah, I'm trying to find it. Then you hit B, right? Mm-hmm. And then find. It. Find it in your view screen, and then you uh, lock onto it. Oh. Oh, nope, that's the HOSF Tomkin. I... So, hit uh, F, Ian. I lost my HUD. Yeah, it's it's there, it's just not showing up. Um, just hold down B. It, you should be locked onto it already. 
Well, let me get, let me at least get going. Okay. Boom. Okay, give me a second. Well, no, it's still, it's still set. Set route. We're good. Okay, now it's back up. Okay. Took me 30 seconds. Shelby texted me, how can I watch the steak? It took me 30 seconds to realize she meant, how can I watch the stream? <laughs> I was like, what steak? We haven't had steak in years. Um. Okay, so I... I click uh, set route? Is uh oh. That okay, it's always. So, it might actually work if you just don't set the route. Uh, like, just don't move the ship. Go to your yeah. galaxy map, unset it, and then go back to your ship, hit B, and it might just pop up. Gotcha. What? Wow. Uh, okay, now I see it. Right, and there should be a thing that comes up, like a little no, I know. scanning I, I, thing. I think it's part of my HUD, and my HUD's not showing up. Yeah, if you hit F or hold it down, it'll zoom you in a little bit. It, it should come up. Nope. Hey, there we go. I just held down B, and it finally worked. Okay. Hmm. It's gonna take us forever to get to Crusader. Guys, what if we just end this? Okay, look, I think I don't need to talk about how I don't like this game because I think it's pretty self-evident that this is seven years in development. I mean, it's not really a, it's not no. really a game yet. Yes, it is. No, this is the game. It is seven years, $330 million, and this is the definition of feature creep. They keep adding all this stuff because they advertised it, because they wanted to fundraise off of it, and none of it is complete, none of it is fully functioning, and none of it is cohesive. Um, I, I'm sad to say this is exactly what I thought it would be. <laughs> I don't understand how this game has been in this state for so long, because this is pretty much exactly what it was like when I played it four or five years ago, where it was like, it looks pretty, but it's barely functioning and it's full of bugs. I also think most of the people who play this game are just as mad about that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, like, you're not... That's nothing new, saying that. <laughs> so I think yeah. people enjoy it for what it is. And... Um, but this does bring up, I do think we should possibly start a stream series, but not in this game. I think it should be an Elite Dangerous or another similar game that is actually working and functioning. Yeah, I, I was talking to Zach about Elite Dangerous, but Elite Dangerous isn't multi isn't viewable multiplayer is that what it is what i think so yeah what like you can't actually see other people in elite dangerous i don't think that's true am i crazy because i've i've read stories about how there's like all this community in elite dangerous where like people are like if somebody gets stuck in the middle of nowhere with no fuel they put out a call and people show up and they help them or like a convoy they of do that on people. here Maybe I'm thinking about something else. Yeah, Elite Dangerous definitely has multiplayer. I don't know. I don't think they have multi-crew ships, but I think if we did like an Elite Dangerous stream series where it's all of us playing the game together and kind of leveling up together, I think that would be a lot of fun because this game, Yeah. I don't want to say this game has promise. I think the premise of this game is great. And I think the premise of a lot of the features is great. This game will never deliver. Strong words, but I don't think yeah. this game will ever deliver. Um, but I would love to do a stream series on a similar game like Elite Dangerous that has delivered. Um, I don't know. This is just, man, this game is, it's, it's, it's just such a shame because you look at it and they have a lot of good ideas and the graphics look great. And I love the ship interiors that they're actually like making these ships that you can call your own. I just, oh, I don't like so the what money do you, models. So what would you want out of this game? Okay. Number one. Um, no bugs. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's out of every game. You'd want no bugs. <laughs> yes. Yes. But as somebody who comes from QA and who works software QA every day, 
this is horrendous. Like it needs to oh, work yeah. better. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't think this game should have been for public access until it hit beta. Yeah, I, and I definitely not money sales. It should. It should have been early yeah. access, like 20, 40 bucks. I think a better money model. I think these ships should be like. I think like the ship I'm in right now should be like. You put two hundred hours into this game, you get this ship. I don't think yes. it should be. You put three hundred dollars into the game. Mm -hmm. And so once once it hits beta or once it hits release, you won't be able to buy ships. Yeah. So you'll only be able to purchase them by working for them in the game, which I think is something I... what, like exactly what you said. You should be able that that should have been from the get go. Should have been from the get go. Because people are, also, I people highly... are going to have the yeah. Kraken, Kraken. I don't be able to. I don't doubt that they've said that, but I highly doubt they're going to hold to that, considering that is how they are making their three hundred thirty million dollars right now is selling, is selling ships. Mm -hmm. So once the game comes out, it's not like development or support. Is free from that point on. They're going to continue to sell ships. Um, yeah, they might. Um, I think. I think the other thing is. Um, I don't know. I haven't really interacted with the systems enough. I feel like the systems are are mostly there. I think they just need to be fleshed out a little bit more and, and have more content. But it's really hard to get past the bugs and their performance issues. Yeah. No, I totally agree. I totally agree. And and not having much to do. Like currently yeah. you can run cargo missions, currently you can mine, currently you can yeah. do like combat missions either in uh in space mm -hmm. or um or on the ground to like t retake enemy bases and stuff. Yeah. I do but I do really like to get to yeah, I, I really like all the systems they've implemented. Like, I see that there's like a there's a law system, there's a debt system, and a loan system, there's a bounty hunting system, etc. I do really like that. I, I think I think the problem with this game is, outside of the game itself, it is like 100% product management or project management, whatever you want to call it, where they have yeah. not learned how to keep the features in line, to actually deliver on features, and to to prioritize like stability and quality over everything yeah. else and that is yeah and the scope of this game has well, gotten from what it was to what it is now is just yeah they, sh they shouldn't have they should have given us what the original kickstarter said and yeah. then yeah been like hey we also want to keep adding to it it's like well cool we'll give us what we paid for and then yeah uh, then feature creep yeah i i'm not crazy about like agile software development but that's like the buzz in software development. And the whole thing about that is that you need to you need to have bite-size deliverable increments. As in, instead of working for three years on a feature that ships at the end of three years, quote unquote, feature complete, you need to deliver every three months or every six months part of that feature that is working for the customer to use. Because that, that satisfies the customer. They don't have to wait three years. And it also allows you to iterate and change things. And I feel like they are not doing that at all with, with Star Citizen. They are just adding features and then just never actually completing them. But at the same time, yeah. never never really delivering on them. Other than, I, I wouldn't call this delivery. This is just like, hey, we put it in the game, but it's not actually super usable. Yeah. I mean, For there's course. there's a whole other aspect that we're not talking about, which is Squadron 42 which is, you know, 70% of their dev team is working on that, or supposedly, it changes. Yeah. But, like, that's a, I mean, yeah, like, from a development standpoint, they've been developing that for years longer than they said they would be, and they rarely, if ever, give updates to that anymore. So I, I feel like Squadron 42 was a big part of what they promised to, in the Kickstarter. And uh, if they can deliver that, at least, I think some people will be, We'll be happy with that. Yeah, but like, be happy. yeah, I I would definitely be happy, especially because they have. Oh, Ian, I think you're like here. Yeah, um, you're almost here. So what? Um, what, what is Squadron Forty Two? So it's like their single player campaign. Um, okay, yeah, you, with the, with the voice actors and everything. Yeah, with like Mark Hamill and Mark Strong and Henry Cavill and stuff like that. Um, uh, uh, Pretty much whenever there's a new update to the PU, everyone's like, well, where's Squadron 42? And they never, ever update. Like, I get emails from Squadron 42 where it's just the last email. It's just mm -hmm. a repeat over and over and over. And it's super frustrating. And, I, like, 
at this point, it's like if we got an update for Squadron 42, I would be ecstatic because we just yeah. haven't heard anything in so long. Um, and it's like if you could just give us that piece of what you promised, like that would be like if that was playable, I would be super happy. And it's supposedly it was like the end of 2020, it would go into beta, like playable beta. Mm-hmm. Um, but we've yet yet to see that. Mm-hmm. We've seen little implementation, like all the combat, yeah. the ground combat, and I guess that's really it. But the ground combat was is really good. It's actually pretty fun. Yeah, it's. Or it's, you mean it's, kinda, you, it's really, Is it playable uh, right now? Yeah, it's playable yeah. right now. Yeah, I just it's it's hard for me to get excited about that because what they've already. Uh, I I just I don't think they can deliver at all in terms of quality. Or even like a finished yeah. product, so it's like it's a lot. Uh, it's a, it's a long promise. road to to getting it bug free. Yeah. Meanwhile, they they keep adding more and more things they want to do, and it's like, well, let's let's get us all into like a, a, right, a, we all got into a server, and all of us are flying around in ships. Is like I've never done that before with a bunch of my friends. Yeah, I mean we like. I think it was like three months ago or four months ago, I randomly needed help because um, my ship blew up. And this guy came, picked me up, and like he j- let me join his sort of clan, his organization. And, you know, we have like org nights every like other Thursday or something. And it's like 50 people on one server on one Discord channel just flying around doing missions. And it's like, it actually is fun when it works. It's just that it doesn't so often. Um, and playing by yourself kind of sucks. Yeah. Having yeah, having having a crew would be fun. Yeah. And that's something that's something that that's my final hope. If 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 I were to buy this game and not end up with a crew, it would just be super boring for me. This is a game I want to play with friends, then have it all work and be cohesive, so Ian will never be on my crew. <laughs> that's fine by me. Yeah, I think I think that's the big shame is that this game has a lot of promise. It 100, it, it 200, 300% has the budget that it needs to deliver on those promise, those promises. It is just... It's management. I think a lot of it. Yeah, it's just... Mm-hmm. just. Right, I'm coming to you, Ian. I, I think I, I'm heading towards the station now. I was finally I, able I to mark it and a, find it. On a table side to exit the game. Are, we, are we actually doing anything more I mean you guys can meet up that's fine I I, I legitimately could not get out of uh, I was stuck at an engineering table <laughs> which is honestly my bad because I don't well, know I can't. anything about my HUD isn't here most of the time so yeah that's weird it's it I saw it fade in and out when I came in and out of star map yeah so like, if, if you're no. yeah I got stuck in weapons mode on my cutlass black or on the one i was using and i couldn't get out of it i could only shoot my guns i couldn't fly my ship so it might be something as simple as what's that, that. How, do I, how do i get in and out of weapons mode i have no idea kyle <laughs> I I, weapons I, mode? I, I, I think it's r or one yeah r is cycle selection flight ready one is pin index one tab is scan if you're scanning for like mines and stuff yeah, so the scan the scan HUD comes up. Flight HUD does not. Yeah, that's super weird. Are you also in quantum? No, I'm not in quantum. Mi- or not you, uh, Zach. I'm in quantum right now, yeah. Right. Do you... You guys are taking forever. Do you want me to, like, pick you up? No, it's, it's all right. I'm, I, I started way later than Ian. No, I mean like I saw that you like you're really going slow. Yeah, I can I can pick you up and take you to Porto in like three minutes. It's all right. I think I don't think it's I don't think it's worth it. All right. Hey, uh, what if we just stop the stream here? Because <laughs> even if we do get together, it's going to be about an hour before we get to combat. Realistically. Yeah. Um, Not if you get on my ship. So I think. Um, I do really like the idea of we should think about doing an Elite Dangerous series, um, or at least a similar game. I know there's a big Elite Dangerous 
um, update coming out at the beginning of next year. But at the same time, the base game is still good. Because I really like this idea of there's four of us, we're in space, we're doing space things. I think we just need to find a different game to do it in. Yeah. We could, there's also like No Man's Sky with a bunch of the stuff they're adding. They actually, yeah. they announced that or Origins, is that what it is? Well, that's going to be, that's more of a sandbox. But they didn't say what it Yeah, that's true. That is more of a sandbox. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. Elite Dangerous, we could do Space Truck. I, I did look it up. They added the co-op multiplayer stuff after I last played it, so. Do they, can you look up if they have multi-crew ships? They do have multi-crew ships. Y'all, I think that's um, it. But you have, to have, you have to own, I think you have to own a multi-crew ship. I don't know how much they are. Well, we could work our way up to that. Yeah. Because I played it for maybe like 45 minutes, and it's it's a lot like this. It, it doesn't have quite as much on-foot stuff. It's a lot like this, but the UI is a lot better. I don't think the, f at least from what I remember, the flying isn't quite as good, but like the in-ship UI and like the yeah. power management and all that, a lot, a lot better. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for joining us. Um, if you've enjoyed this stream, thanks for watching. Uh, and keep an eye out on our Twitter, also our Facebook and Instagram at Subpixel Team. We may be uh, teasing a brand new series coming. We don't know when. It took us more than a year to get around to playing this after talking about it. So in two years' time, we will be playing Elite Dangerous. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. Zach, where can people find you? Uh, on here, uh, sitting in my ship, waiting for it to be good. <laughs> mm. You know what this game desperately needs? This game needs like like a people first revolution where they just somehow give, like GTA Online has hackers that make the game enjoyable because they give you money instead of you having to grind for it. Somebody needs to hack this game and just start giving out ships and all the best weapons to everybody. Yeah, um, it should be the developer. Yeah. I yeah. Just one last point. That was, that was the comparison I was thinking of earlier is that this is a lot like GTA Online where it has some really cool things in it and really cool ideas, but the implementation is just never quite there. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Kyle, where can people find you? You can find me Twitter and Instagram at Kyle of the Beard. Um, and Will, where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. And you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. And like I said, you can find a Subpixel social media accounts at Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Subpixel Team, as well as subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our YouTube page. That's where we put up all of our stream archives, including the stream right now. Uh, we've got some fantastic streams coming up tomorrow. Wednesday night, is that 9 p.m. Eastern, Kyle? Is that your usual slot now? 9 p.m., yep. So you're gonna be playing Kyle Emblem. How is that going so far? It's going great when, uh... You know, it, it, it's fun because it's not often fun. It's pretty boring. <laughs> That's a good way to play. I don't want to say a boring game, but kind of a slow game. Yeah. You play it on stream, no, it makes it, it more it's, enjoyable. It's fun to, it, it's fun to talk about it um, and, and, you know, uh, play through the different systems. And re I played that game probably 10 years ago, and I haven't played it since. So it's been interesting. And the story is, I actually really like the story. It's uh, where Ike came in. Uh, so it, oh. it's, it's fun. It's fun. And it's, it's old fashioned. But man, is it boring sometimes. And super difficult for some reason. Oh, really? Not even because I'm like not great at it. It's just the the it's everyone is underpowered and it sucks. Got it. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a great promo for that show. No, sorry. It's I, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, we also have some stuff coming up on Thursday. We're going to be playing Rhizom. Is that what it's called? R Rhizom, R-Y-Z-O-M, the MMO? I, I think so. Rhizom? I logged in and it was it was fun so far. Great. Mm. Uh, that's going to be continuation of server quest. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, if you've enjoyed this stream, give us a follow, give us a like, maybe even give us a subscription. Wherever you're watching us, thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, we really appreciate when you watch our content. And we can't wait to see you on yet another Subpixel stream. Thank you guys so much for joining, and thank you guys for being guests. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.